right, this seems a little better. Cheers. Eight o'clock, guys. Eight o'clock, Friday night, and I am in a country inn in Flagstaff, Arizona. As mentioned in a few previous videos, we've got a major tournament coming up, probably the biggest tournament of my life, and it is the Bassmaster Kayak Classic Championship on Possum Kingdom, all the way in Texas. That's right, we are on our way to Texas. We got about a solid 11 and a half, 12 hours of driving out of the way today. We're gonna do another 10 to 12 hour day tomorrow, Saturday, and we will make our way to Possum Kingdom. We got an Airbnb. We're staying with a few uh, new faces, which uh, I'm excited to hang out with and just talk fish with so that'll be exciting but yeah big big tournament two-day event this was an event you had to qualify for in 2020 so we got lucky back in 2020 this was maybe one of the most clutch fish that I've ever caught because it was within the last 30 minutes of the tournament that was my fifth keeper and ultimately put me within the top from that tournament to actually qualify for this one we'll show that clip right here that's a giant that's a giant. Terrence, I got a giant. I guess that helps a little bit. Took me pretty much all day to get my limit. Got me up there. Hoo -hoo. Dang, son. That's a giant. So yeah, super lucky. I've talked about this before in videos with the tournament scene, the tournament circuits and kayak fishing just growing so much. But on Friday, after the two-day tournament, the top 10 from this tournament get to go on the Bassmaster Classic Kayak Stage in Fort Worth. And this is definitely going to be a historical tournament, the first kayak classic champion crowned right in Texas. I'm not going to do a huge travel vlog because I think most of you guys are here more so for the fishing. But I do like to keep you guys in the loop and kind of show you what I go through, what the guys go through to uh, get to some of these tournaments it's a big trip a lot at stake but i'm gonna just relax try to get some sleep and there'll be another day of driving tomorrow we'll probably try to make our way to lubbock find another place but i'll see you guys tomorrow morning for another day of travel to possum kingdom for the kayak bass master classic <laughs>to possum kingdom lake right in my background there she is actually it's only 10 o'clock we're making some good timing so can't check into our airbnb till three o'clock might as well go fishing right first thing i notice is holy smokes that water is like chocolate milk it's really dirty i'm just excited to go fishing let's unload see what possum kingdom's all about we're good to go seems weird we're actually good to go here goes nothing be cool if we figured out our tournament spot or tournament area today give us two more days to expand on it it's happened before looks like we got a little rocky bank I think that calls for the crank. Oh gosh, it feels so good to make a cast after like 26 hours in the car. Dude, that was a fish. Something had it. Wow, first bite on Possum Kingdom and I missed got the claw a little stinker it's hard to imagine there's fish in a place when it's like so dirty i mean they're there I mean, i've seen actually a ton of activity on the graph wonder if i'll get it again with one claw
loaded with bait. You know, if this water wasn't so dirty, we'd see tons of bait. I mean, you can see the birds up there just dipping their beaks in and getting bait. So easy. Where are the bass? Oh my god! That was awesome! Dude, that's a long one. First possum kingdom fish on the old Chapo. Didn't even, I don't even think I cranked that once before that fish hit. Under the dock. <sighs> wow. Man, that's a, you can tell it's a skinny post spawner. Look at how skinny that fish is. Weight doesn't matter though. Like 16 inches. <laughs> Yeah, 15 and a half. That's like a pound and a half, 15 and a half inch fish. Possum Kingdom, first bass. Yikes. Well, that was interesting. It took us exactly three hours and 45 minutes to get a, a fish in the boat. Bunch of shad right up in this tree right here. Gotta be a bass up in there. How is there not a bass up in there? Man, oh man. You make my rig look pretty bad, dude. Yeah. How are you? Good, man. How are you? Good, thank you. Greg, this is my son, Jordan. Jordan, nice, nice to meet you. How are you guys doing today? You guys have a, have a solid day, hopefully? Because mine was terrible. Yeah, my first fish was a 19 and a half. Oh, jeez. Poor I, you. Did you fish muddy water then? It was blown out. Blown Ter out muddy? Terrible. The whole lake's going to be muddy by the end. You think so? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's moving they down. They just opened the third gate. Oh, gosh. And they got flash flood warning until tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't be a tournament without some uh, interesting conditions, yeah. though. This is probably going to be a tent. I hate sleeping in a toilet. Oh, by the way, uh, I think everyone knows Mr. Uh, Flip, oh, yeah, you're recording. Flipmaster, aka Gene Jensen. Yep. We're not going to catch any fishes. <laughs> All right, <laughs> digs. Let's see what we got here. You're going to learn how to fish chocolate soup. I don't know how to. Well, it's cool in here. That's... Yeah, AC works. Alrighty, what is happening, ladies and gentlemen? It is, I don't know why I always feel the need to say the time, but I think it's relevant. It is. About eight o'clock. First day at Possum Kingdom is over. You guys saw a covered uh, section of the lake that I was curious about and uh, I'm glad we did because we eliminated a ton of water. Absolutely chocolate milk blown out. There has been a lot of rain in West Texas and it is all coming down through the river and into Possum Kingdom. They do have a dam at the other end of the lake and they've started opening the gates. So that is of course pulling water and that is pulling the mud. So day by day, this mud just keeps pulling all the way down through the lake. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how this lake shapes up by turning day but right now we are doing the standard thing before another day of prefish of retying trying to reorganize reassemble for tomorrow have a new game plan try a new area of course and uh, hopefully figure something else out on a different part of the lake but as far as the house goes you guys probably are curious as to who's in the house it's not the typical crew I stay with right now we've got uh, you guys saw earlier we got Gene and his son Jason Barofka just arrived he's been fishing all day he just arrived he came in and then we've got uh, Shane Lamone coming I think tomorrow he's still in SoCal he says he's gonna get up tomorrow at like 2 a.m. and drive 18 hours and get here Monday night straight through that's pretty uh that's, that's a lot so we'll, we'll wish him luck that's the house for this uh this week here at possum kingdom right now i am just gonna worry about rigging up trying to formulate a game plan for tomorrow and i will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning for monday's day of pre-fishing there's a lot of guys sitting in their truck right now scared yeah Ooh. well day two of pre-fish how's it going so Ooh. far I don't know, but how about you? His coffee introduction. My coffee introduction. <laughs> here's, uh, one for you. here's one for you, boat. <laughs> Get those things away from me. Well, 
loss for words. 819, based on the radar, it says that this should pretty much be over by 10 o'clock. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way to another launch ramp, which is actually about an hour away. We'll get there, we'll kind of just feel it out. Rain, okay, lightning, I don't even chance it. So we're gonna have to make sure that this lightning stops for at least 20, 30 minutes completely before we, we venture out onto the lake. All right, guys, we're gonna, it's, I don't think we're completely out of the clear, but I think we're getting close. Looks like the storm is almost all the way pushed past us, but you can never 100% fully trust that. I think we're gonna stay close, maybe for the first couple, you know, 30, 45 minutes, just in case we need to get back. Because lightning is one thing I told myself last year, we're just not gonna mess with. It's too dangerous. Ramp right there, stick close for now. F that. There's a beach up here. I wait it out. That was a sign. Holy smokes. I think that was a fish. It had to have been. I was so unprepared for that. There we go. Okay, they are in the toys. Jeez Louise. It's a big one too. Okay, that's a pattern I can work with, folks. <sighs> that skinny post spawner. That is a pattern we can work with. Dude, that's a great kayak bass. It's got a bucket head. Skinny little body. I like that sign. Got right by the ramp, too, in the toolies. There's absolutely no reason to beat this stretch. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better. Oh my god. Alright, we figured out our pattern. Figured out our pattern. That's also a good indicator that with all this dirty water, the bass have probably pushed up shallow too. Let's touch one of those carp. God, this part of the lake just looks so much better than what we were fishing yesterday confidence factor I have in this over that big old mud ball. I mean, it's still muddy back here, but at least it's got a little more depth, a little more structure, a little more cover. They should be in here. Hope they're in the wood. I haven't got one in the wood yet. Everything's been the reeds. There's definitely shad up in some of this stuff. Gotta be a bass there. Just gotta land on its head, I think.
Yeah, they're still in the toolies. Sheesh. Still, oh, I saw the fish go by. I saw him. He jammed away. Fish are in about three foot of water today in the toolies. That's the only thing I can get going on. Finally got a bite. Problem. Uh, gee, that took a million flips. Literally a million flips. What up, man? Hey, welcome to Texas, man. Yeah. What up, man? How you doing? Good. Good to see you. It's so nice right now. Yeah. This is a dope spot, dude. We were kidding. We got a party to get some tarred up. Were you down there? No. <laughs> no, the storm was. <laughs> what are we gonna grub? I got some sausage. You know, let's try to. I lit this fire on uh, with toilet paper last night. But yeah. I got live for it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I got one. Yes, we are. We're asshole. Cheers. Is camera on? Cheers, man. Cheers, brother. Possum Kingdom 2021. Possum Kingdom. Catching three fish since I've been here. Catch you. Yes. Alrighty guys, it is about uh, 10 o'clock Monday night. That is pretty much the uh, second day, I guess it's a day, if we can call it that, of uh, pre-fishing. We got one more day tomorrow, and then the tournament on Wednesday and Thursday, and as you guys saw today, we really did not figure much out. We got one pattern, if you can call it that. We might launch a couple times tomorrow before two o'clock. Two o'clock is when we have to get off the water and then head to uh, headquarters to uh, check in. Yeah, I don't know. Talking to the fellas that are here, they are on some fish. I'll be honest with you, I, I feel like kind of the odd man out. I mean, those guys are catching them. I feel like I need to, do some work tomorrow and get some uh, get some good information get a good good game plan for uh, tournament day i'm gonna get up pretty early tomorrow morning hopefully not greeted by torrential downpours and lightning i will see you guys tomorrow morning for the final day of pre-fish on possum kingdom should be interesting Looks like fun out there. The whole light like that. Dang. Yeah, you know what? I hate to do it. I ain't going out there, crap. Oh, kind of a waste of time, but what are you gonna do? What's up, man? Hey, Greg. <laughs> How you doing? Nothing, just a little uh, indecisive. the next spot. There we go. Let's flip. Dirty water. Just got to put it on one's head. What's up, man? I take it you're in the same situation as I am, at least for this spot. Oh, I think the fact that we're all off the water says something. <laughs> Is that the stage? Ladies and gentlemen, the night before, possibly the biggest kayak tournament I've ever participated in. I hate to say this, but this is just the truth. Probably some of the worst pre-fishing days I've ever had. I'm just gonna stick to what I know and uh, try, to, try to build upon it. More importantly, just go out fishing and have fun tomorrow. Someone at the end of two days will be the first ever Bassmaster Kayak Classic champion. And that's insane. I don't know. You know what, actually, let's, uh, to finish this video, let's go. Let's go interrogate the guys. Let them speak, because I certainly have not provided you guys with any uh, quality fishing content. Let's go check them out. 
Let's go to Jason first. That looks like a winner, a classic winner on the couch right there. We'll see. All right, I just uh, gave the folks kind of my recap of pre-fish and how bad it is. I did tell them that the one positive thing is the house guys, you, Gene, and Shane, are on some fish. Yeah, on some fish. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I know predictions are always tough, but yeah. you, I mean, you're on good fish. Yeah, I've had a, uh, I've had some good practice days. Today was epic for practice, so we'll see what happens. I, you know, you never know. I mean, it's hard to tell what you got, but when you're just pulling up to places and you only make two, you got, I mean, I was dialed in on what, what they're biting on today. And you just pull up to a place, make two, three casts and you catch a fish and then yeah. move. And you two, it's just like that. So and I'm it's, excited. It's specific baits yeah. too that are probably gonna catch fish over other people or behind people. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately I stuck, I had to stick one, big one, but you know, it was close to seven pounds a day, but I, I shook off some others, pretty good ones, and I, I did stick another one that just jumped off. I didn't really set the hook, but he was, he was close to six. But I, nice. you know, I mean, that's that, and now the tournament time. So well, we're rooting for you, man. I don't want to jinx you. Don't don't take this too serious, but I I think you're gonna win. <laughs> I think you're gonna win. I do. Uh, we'll see. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Let's go see what uh, the fluke master and Mr. Lemon are up to. Oh, there he is. Hey. What's, What's up, Jane? I was just telling the folks how terrible my fishing's been. They've seen it. But that's okay, dude, because it's all about tomorrow. It's You're true. notorious for catching them on tournament day. <laughs> no. No, you guys are on good fish. A lot of people are. We're rolling. I've had a pretty bad pre-fish. Really? Is it that bad? Yeah, it's oh, bad. Yeah, but you're going to pull a Greg Blanchard and get on that's him tomorrow. That's what Shane said. Yeah. I, th I hope we all end up in the top ten. How wicked would that be? I hope at least one of us does. Yeah. Well, you ain't gonna be me because I'm sharing water with like 20 of the best sticks in the business. So we'll but see. That's a, that's a good thing yeah, when you're exactly. in the same water. We all found the same water. Well, good luck to you tomorrow, yeah, man. Yeah, brother. We'll see you. I think I'm gonna close out the video right there. There it is. Beautiful Possum Kingdom Lake. There's giants in there somewhere. I just don't know where they are. I'm going to finish up some last minute tasks before the tournament tomorrow. Try to get a little sleep. And I will see you guys in the next video for day one, the Kayak Bassmaster Classic. Possum Kingdom. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm.